welcome back to SoFlow TV again, everybody. It is your host with the most. Just go ahead and hit that subscribe button, please, and let's get right into the topic. So, how this all started with Popcorn. Today, we're going to talk about Popcorn. We're going to talk about Popcorn's charges that he's facing, and we're going to talk about why we think these charges were brought against Popcorn. But first, you must understand that this came from Unruly Fest. 2024 so we must dig up some things and give you those pieces of information after that we're going to be speaking about queen africa and tony rebel and their situation and why i believe that you must stay out of people business seeing all right let's start off with popcorn situation now let's take this directly from jamaica observer it says popcorn and friends deliver at unruly fest despite a premature ending which mean them shut off the show early St. Thomas, Jamaica, even though he didn't release a slew of new singles for 2023, the St. Thomas native, Popcorn, he could not do any wrong. The event was held at Phillips Field Sports Complex in Yalas early Saturday morning. A dancehall artist drew on his extensive catalog to thrill a home crowd that was undoubtedly thrilled to see the return of the parish's biggest entertainment event and one of their own taking the stage and rising to the occasion of course now as according to the reports there were deafening screams that greeted the artist as he took the stage and opening his set with his hit single rope rope but in a real life popcorn served up hits after hits after hits performing songs like party shot only man she want my type clocks addicted among many because Pop popcorn now has a slew of songs that he can perform on stage probably for hours it's called a catalog okay never strain from the popcorn and friends lineup the entertainer popcorn himself invited numerous acts to share the stage with him of course his saint thomas colleague chronic law Chronic Law, who hails from Yalas in the parish, another giant out of St. Thomas. Of course, the crowd is going to go crazy. Delivered a powerful set because this is one of their own. Again, rising to the occasion and not only that, becoming a big superstar. So this is a homegrown star. The vibes was great. Everything was good. Other people also were invited to share the stage and they did share the stage. Governor, Taurus Riley, Joshi. Skilly Bang, Sean Paul, Proto J, Jesse Royal, Chiching Ching, Najiri, and US rapper Quavo of the Migos was there. Now Quavo show up in a two knee pads and I said why for that and bun off that <laughs> <laughs> and I was wondering why Popcorn them didn't tell him some man don't wear knee pad bar brother. But hey, anyhow, back to the story at hand. I also said to myself, wow, the person with the most money on the stage was dressed the most frigged up on the stage, which is Quavo himself. I check his net worth. He's about 25 million US dollars um, in as his net worth. So yeah, I did have the most money on the stage. But anyhow, I know the money we are talking about. We are talking about how we come to where Popcorn is now charged, seeing with a bunch of things concerning this event. So here is where it happened. Minutes before 5 a.m., lawmen pulled the plug on the event and then they were indicating that the show was originally scheduled to end at 4 a.m. but that Popcorn them had taken the thing a next extra hour over, unpermitted. Still, the extension didn't seem like enough for the patrons who agreed with Popcorn that the event was only being turned off because of its host parish because ayaso we are have it as saint thomas popcorn got on the stage and he said a few choice words some of them was like that's why i'm in a like you know you know and a bunch of other things right and you know they didn't take too fondly to the things that he was saying hence the charges that were filed against him you know he accused them of treating them unfairly he accused them of things like this is why St. Thomas can't better and get a youth can't rise and I saw no hungry thing. Now, we are going to save our opinion for this part for later. 
In his words, he says, that's why St. Thomas can better because on a fight against everything what we do, on a move up, I'm tired of all the DJ said, urging the bands to continue playing in between hurling expletives, cuss words at the cops who came to end the event, indicating that he may move the event to the national stadium in the near future and take it away from St. Thomas. Popcorn highlighted that St. Thomas will never be better if the parish continues to endure what he believes is unjust treatment from the authorities there. All right. With that said, he was then listed as police want to talk to him because them have some charges them want to lay against him and all these other kind of things. Right? Now when we go and look at these charges, um, here is the report. It says, Andre Sutherland, popularly known as Popcorn, is set to appear before the St. Thomas Parish Court on Wednesday, January 10th, after he was slapped with five charges in connection with an incident that unfolded at the third staging of Unruly Fest in Yalas last month. The entertainer attended the Area 5 Police Headquarters where he was served with five summons. He was charged with the use of indecent language. That is one, yes, you can be charged for cussing bad words in Jamaica as they call them. He was charged with disorderly conduct. He was charged with using abusive and calumnious language. He was charged with issuing a threat to police officers. And he was charged with breaches of the Noise Abatement Act. Those ones. In case you are wondering what calumnious means, it basically means that he was making false and damaging statements against somebody's reputation. So I guess... When he said, St. Thomas can better because of Uno, and every time the U.M. tried to do something, Uno fight it down, they labeled that as calumnious. In other words, you're accusing us of not making St. or being the reason why St. Thomas cannot be better, and they listed that as a charge as well. Under the Noise Abatement Act, let's just say this. Pretty much no promoter gives a damn about the Noise Abatement Act really and truly. Most people who make their living at night time, food vendors, party promoters, patrons that go there, so on and so forth. They look at the Noise Abatement Act like something that is put in place to stifle their livelihood. Anyways, at the end of the day, the Noise Abatement Act, the fine is going to come down to about fifteen to 30000 Jamaican dollars. Or, if you can't pay that... 30 days imprisonment everybody knows a popcorn money long 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 he is highly successful and he has been overseas now rubbing elbows with the who's of who's and what's of what's for some time collecting big checks so that's not going to be any money a dinner money that for him to pay that off what's the purpose of these charges i guess they're trying to make an example but here's the argument from a person who is a son of the soil myself would they have done this to a Joe Bogdanovich? Ask yourself the question. How come every time Popcorn and these kinds of guys have their events, they are locked off early or they are interrupted by law enforcement? You know, it kind of reminds me of a time when Vibes Cartel was out performing and police would come and lock off the sound or when Tommy Lee was under their scrutiny and everywhere he went to perform, they would shut it down, lock off the sound, or they would tell the promoters not to book him because if they book him, they would lock the sound off. Now, here's the thing. If you study Popcorn show, Unruly Fest, and you look at the people that perform on it, let me tell you something. These people perform on that show because them and Popcorn have a good relationship. Those other shows, they have to pay those people heavy to perform now i'm not saying that popcorn didn't pay those lineups on his show like the sean pauls and those people and the chronic laws to perform they might have paid them they might have done it for free we don't know but i'm saying it's a hefty fee to get the lineup that popcorn had on his show and if you take it back to another staging of unruly fest 
if you remember the multi-platinum selling number one artist in the world possibly arguably drake has come into jamaica and performed at unruly fest these other people cannot afford a drake drake is commanding a million us dollars a performance or somewhere close to that especially if it's out of the country when you talk about putting his whole entourage together along with his accommodations luxury style and all that so drake not gonna fly into jamaica for no fifty thousand hundred thousand two hundred thousand or them kind of money there to perform but popcorn is connected to drake so in other words the links not small my friend so when he's able to pull this off of course somebody is jealous and what else power do they have other than to send them police and say yo go lock off the sound there interrupt it end it early you understand and that's the most that they can do that's just my take on it all the charges that's just smoke and mirrors they won't go much further popcorn has his lawyer bert samuels on it and at the end of the day it will disappear and life will go on now let's talk about queen africa and tony rebel as we move forward this one please remember i know please remember i have great respect for queen africa so i'm gonna set that out straight first I'm also a great fan of Tony Rebel. Can me remember from a little youth when him sing about Nazarene vow and it made me want to be a Rasta. Seeing when I bow when a girl Ras dead and Ras now. Long time it take for me Nazarene vow. That one day. But anyhow, back to what is happening now. Queen Africa released a statement on Instagram and the statement was pretty much telling Tony Rebel picnic them for low out our data and stop perplex our tranquility or stop disturb our heavens or something like that along those lines right and i was saying to myself well isn't queen africa's child also tony rebel's child but me i watch the pre if you see what i go on zin now as i'm watching the pre to see what is going in i see here, here is here is the, the, the vocals first. It goes so. Greetings world. How do I them do? Don't make no one pull you out this year in about don't take no bullshit from no one neither. You hear that? Make sure so your heart clean and your hands pure in front of the Almighty. This message is for all Tony Rebel children then. I would like to tell especially Daviana. Low Tanzania, Daviana Barrett. Leave Tanzania alone. Me and my children, them come out on a space. I still have the rebel salute because I love that show there before me know Tony Rebel. And that's why I appeared on the on the 20th. On allow my daughter and stop manipulating her heavens. Again, this message is for Tony Rebel children, them. Specifically, Daviana Barrett. Big up on yourself, world. This year we not take no bullshit, not even from ourselves. I mean, I sound the blood clot, I beg. All right. So when she said that now, the way how she said, boy, is like, you ever run up a hill yet to go cuss somebody, and when you reach at the top of the hill, you're tired, but you have to cuss anyway. So she said it in a way where I felt like something was definitely wrong. But as that was going on, me I say, you know, me not say too much about it. I just want to see where this is going. Well, lo and behold, the next video which was posted about an hour later was none other than the same Queen Africa in the presence of Tony Rebel as they were standing in front of a police station. And I thought... It was going to be more drama, but instead, this is what happened. Come stand down. Well, right. Hold on, one second, make it come up. Yeah, then, right. was a jump up, the pussy then coming like a flyer and I... <laughs> because I don't, I don't really love, they love me. <laughs> you see me? I'm ready, they're ready. Oh, yeah, she go bring him down. I see she bring him down. You see me? I don't bring down with you. We just want things to do right. That's all. 
IG, I'm back. <laughs> and it's all good. So hold on now. May I make somebody hold the phone? Because Tony Rebel me still see him as a general in my eyes. See, then they are man. <laughs> ready to go. So, let me switch on the camera. So that we can officially say it, yes, sir. And the, and the bridge is not going to say what we are saying to the eye there. Alright, so switch on you now, better. Yeah. Turn it on with it. Yeah. Turn it on Lolly Bella first and make him say what he said to me a while ago, and then we can come in together now and tell the world say, this year, a unity and peace in a family and community we are dealing with. What I say is out of I and I come at love. See the start there? Go in I then see your face. It's <laughs> love, love bring her come in the earth. <laughs> Zane, her name is Tanzania, I love her. More than I said. That's so it, <coughs> and it's and it's her Queen Africa daughter. So you know what I say now. You say for this year, our peace we say. We don't mean peace of it, you know. Our peace of that, you know. But peace and love. You see what I say? In our One family, mess, in, our in our family, our in our community, in our country. The difference is what we have going around us now. The difference is what we have as a people. We're supposed to can amicably work it out and everybody come a rebel salute and we have a rebel salute at the show we're responsible for people well-being in front of the year that's sure. well for the whole year and that means defend over the years and those rebel tall body we have in our pants. Hey, 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 See? you don't have to talk that. You don't have to talk. It's, 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 it's the culture. It's a culture where we represent for and, and, and the country where all our love. So, we you know, see the first half in you know, the anguish and the anger. I want to see the brethren and my daughter and Ryan be a little great. You see what I'm saying? And we're there at Matilda's police station and we are fixed it before we leave here. So, so, here so moving forward, a family unity, we yes, are saying. A family unity. Here what? You see, Rebel Salute, it built for four pillars culture, community, family and education and we have to understand that sometimes certain things start out of anger but we have to know to say he who angers you conquers you and it is more dangerous where hatred and anger is stored than where it is stored so we have to say peace me and queen are free can go didn't it we have to know that kinda <laughs> Say, yeah, love you in a some of the situation, then man. You see me, and we are there, rebel salute, and represent for the show, because you don't know a family we say in a me real too. life. And Tansy, I walk <laughs> out on stage to say, me, yeah. and whoever else walk out, so we want to see the idea. So, I'm gonna tell you something Queen Africa is a real great artist. Although, me and I, I'm a, me is a fan, me is a fan of Queen Africa from the first time here. We love our voice and I love her. You know what I mean? Although we're not together, it not mean say me love dead fear. I wish you might buy a sleep house. I mean buy a sleep house. But you are now. You see she she born she born out of Queen Africa. She born the day when I meet Queen Africa two years after. The day when I meet her. And I'm gonna tell you something. No! Nobody! Nobody! I don't see we're talented more than her. Walk out again the Nobody talented, right? talented more than her. <laughs> she is <laughs> one of the wickedest singer and DJ, you know, yeah, as man, young people. Yeah, man, that's me a fight for you, I'm a daughter, man. I'm tired. Family, man. I'm tired. Tired. One Jamaica, you know, one family, you know. A unity we are serving now. Each family, no time. True. You see me? That, that, no more blood and family killing, man. No, we're not. Make, we, make we reason around the table and sort out things the way out, whether so public or private. I am. Them things that we can cut out now out of our country. So, 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 so me? when we meet at the table, we won't be meet at the table. So you're not going to eat we at the table. <laughs> we're going to meet at the table and work out our differences. Because everybody different, everybody have different opinion, everybody have different experience. So I saw it I forgot, but at the same time, we must can agree 
on certain issues, the family issues, we have to agree upon that. Education issue, we have to agree upon that. You know what I mean? And you have to get more vocal as a man where I have a baby man of 23 years who can still come in front of the world from show you a, 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 a lifeline and say, nah, bring your hand on the You still have to go up in terms of where our man reach now and how you see issues I deal with and, I, and I, that's where the respect I come from when you know, do pretend and, and do things to people because we're not frightened the people. You hear that? Acho. Yeah, man. So, so the world for no. And, and the world for no. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah man. It's Europe and results, man. Yeah, man. Result. Yeah. Because that we deal with, you know, resolution. We deal with solution. Problem will come up yes. The sibling them have problems. But the baby that... mother them who no me have come from. No to stop it. Get the kids them together. Get the kids them together so that the man them can even breathe too. I don't know, they can't control the body part of things. But at least, <laughs> control the children then. You understand what I'm saying? I make love rain in a, in a yeah, thing man. we call blending family. Yeah, man. You see me? Love for rain. I'm going to say, man. Oneness. Oneness. Who knows who knows that? People are oneness, you say. There's no se yeah, separation, no segregation. A family, man. Oneness. Family. So see the item of rebel salute in the 19th and 20th, you know, nothing can make with this rebel salute, you hear that? I feel for sure in a real life, Jamaica last hope in a music, you hear that? Uh -huh. That is it. I like that, that's our next tagline, yeah. Jamaica yeah. last hope in a music. You know, you see a queen tagline there, man. <laughs> Boom! <laughs> in our enemy head. Yes, perfect. Fully endorsed by me. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. Them, just take care of the eye themselves and love the God in our you. So I mean, I say, love life and do things for the right reasons. No other reason but the right reason, right outcome. So yeah, I'm going to rock it a rebel salute the 20th because I'm good over evil. We said, no good now, suffer for no more. Bad. Love you. All right, so after them do that big old makeup there. Seen a lot of people in the comment section seem like they don't, they, they really didn't want to see uh, a solution to the problems that they've been having. And you know, Queen Africa has been very vocal lately concerning her relationship with Tony Rebel. Um, she has made some ghastly accusations, you know, Salman beat her one time and all these other kind of things, this, that, and the other. At the end of the day, to see her bringing peace or speaking peacefully in the presence of and still saying that he is a general in her eyes it didn't take too good with some women because some women are saying well i guess she love beating or i guess she love a man with beat her and next woman say big up miss a big old tony rebel because of the hood did a mother or did a dear because the hood gone and the next person saying all kinds of other things end of the day right what i got from this is this you notice how Queen Africa started that live. She started the live by saying something about flies. How them come like flies, right? Because and I like them like me, you know. Or no love them love me, you know. So in other words, um it kind of remind me of Queenie. You know how Queenie used to ball to the internet. Why? Why? It might hurt me for Dewey, right? And then when the people them start cuss Dewey. Queen, see them one turn around and tell them, run up under your mother and broke your neck in her hole and these kind of things. So the people got confused and they're like, yo, we were trying to defend you because you look like you were hurting and you're crying out to us. And she goes, yes, me I cry out to her, but I'm my husband. So me can't talk bad about him, but I don't know if you talk bad about him. I kind of get the same kind of vibe over here, which is Tony Rebel, Queen Africa them have them issues they're sorting their issues out them venting well she was venting and people might have taken sides because you know already nobody likes to see an abused woman especially if the woman can talk and point finger and say yo that man you abused me rotted people will turn against that man seeing so right now watching them in front of the police station where i thought the police was going to jump into the scene and things was going to get bad it actually turned into a peaceful moment and a moment to move forward in a better light now make no mistake about it i think stay out of people business become a citizen already i've seen man a beating woman out a road i miss a man jumping and to defend that woman that was getting beaten and that same woman 
end up help her man fight the man that was trying to help her you understand with that said though here is the leading comment of the day concerning this people are saying listen rebel salute is coming up this is drama people love drama drama sells queen africa says she will be there on the 20th at rebel salute a lot of people already were saying is she gonna disconnect herself from rebel salute will she be allowed to perform at rebel salute a whole heap of people are gonna show up at rebel salute this year you know just to see the queen face to face and test the temperature of what the vibes is she made it clear that she loves that show and she's going to be performing at rebel salute this year but bigger than that a lot of people including myself were saying in this time and age now where a simple accusation of abuse from a woman could tear down a man's entire empire we've seen it over and over and over again right no proof is needed per se just the accusation once that is done your brand will sink so i think somebody might have pinched queen africa and said listen up yebs um you see that rebel salute something there the brand 20 rebel brand is a brand that it's like the goose that lays the golden egg and although we have problems behind the scene we can't kill the goose when lay the golden egg because when food dry up for everybody else we still are left with the same problems that we had before plus new problems on top of that so let's make this right and save the brand and let the people them know that so despite all our issues a peace love and unity we are pushed for this year seeing and when that is covered then people won't be looking at rebel salute associated with tony rebel as a, a, an abusive man towards women and a womanizer or something like that they'll have a different view same way because queen africa herself said stamp of approval he is still a general in my eyes and that's right there end of the day leave people business alone that <laughs> that is the lesson i got from that listen those are our two stories for the day manners and respect to each and every one of you tuning in and don't forget to go over to jamaica from the outside yes that's the name of the channel on youtube it's called jamaica from the outside go over there jamaica from the outside and subscribe to that channel trust me you won't regret it all right especially my people who live in the state of florida usa jamaica from the outside you're gonna thank me later i'm out peace all right my soflow tv audience this channel is called jamaica from the outside it's a youtube channel that i want you to go over to and hit the subscribe button and i promise you you will not be disappointed jamaica from the outside i'm sitting here watching some of the videos and they're covering farming overseas florida usa to be specific you see for the people in florida if you want to see where you can actually get fresh goat meat i'm talking about them raise the goat you know they raise the goat and then you come and you pick which one you want and then them sort it out and quarter it up and these kind of things then there's a farm on here that has all kinds of fruits and vegetables and foods from jamaica that are grown authentically from the ground up no imported no spray down with no chemicals no nothing and you can actually go right there may i talk about like sour sap sweet sap kneesberry all them something there and a whole heap of mango so many mangoes i didn't even know they had mango name with kool-aid name and fruit punch and all these things but i'm just saying pay attention to this channel right jamaica from the outside a wealth of information on it and you will not be disappointed in the content yes they do um videos out of jamaica sometimes and cover special gems places that you can also visit off the beaten path places where maybe a lot of other people don't know about that are in jamaica but they also have especially for my floridians pay attention the channel name is jamaica from the outside go over there hit the subscribe button engage the content tell them say soflow tv send you and i will see you over there me no know me already i make my plans for going on one of these farms because me like my food authentic me like my food 
organic me like my food with no chemical spray down on it and no mix up and grown um funny kind of way so yeah i'm paying attention to the goat farm and i'm also paying attention to the farm that has the knees bury them in it knees bury knees bury you know grown off of the tree knees bury go over the man jamaica from the outside tell them so flow tv sent you all right